What's going on YouTube? That fish guy ninety five here. Um update number five on the nano reef, thirty gallon nano reef build. Uh the last video uh I turned it upside down or something, so it didn't like turn out, but on my camera it did. Anyways. Um sorry the fans on, it's just really hot in here today. Um and uh finally got these lights to work, by the way. Um anyways if you saw my previous videos, which you can see down if you go to my channel and then see my uploads of that fish place, really cool place. I'll put the link in the description below to the uh, online website. Great prices. I picked up uh, 10 pounds of uh, bioactive live agronite reef sand for the sump, and that's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna try to put three inches down there. If you can see it, I got this little light. Three inches down there of uh, stuff, but uh, we're gonna get a light up here. I found a strip light for like five bucks at a uh, Home Depot. But um, anyways, as you can see, I got all the plumbing set up. So, oh, also I'll just do all the stuff we got first. And I got 30 pounds of dry rock. As you can see, I've already aquascaped it out pretty nicely. So. Here we got a pretty big rock right there. Um, we got a small cave right there for some shrimp or whatever they want to do. Um, it's a pretty good area of gravel. Um, so if the shrimp want to dig right there or Blenny wants to do some whatever they want to do, I have space for it. Small cave right there. I can put some uh, corals that need more lighting there. Uh, a little bit less lighting down there, stuff like that, and um, so we got everything set up, got the returns all set up, and you're probably going to hate me for this, but uh kind of duct taped them, because I didn't really have any clamps that could go on plastic, because my, I mean glass, because my funding's kind of limited, because uh, I already reached the total up, it's about, I paid 430 bucks so far for this whole entire thing, so... At the end, it's going to be about 500 for my cost, and plus it was a little birthday present. I got all the water and stuff, and uh, I got the uh, overflow and a pump for my uh, birthday. My mom and my dad paid for all the water, so thanks, mom and dad. Oh, she also paid for the light too, for 150 bucks. Um. This was a hundred, that was fifty, so she paid a hundred fifty altogether. Anyways, onto the actual tank. Got the return valve right here. That goes down. Me and my dad actually got a hole saw and did it. Other than that, just cutting random holes and stuff like that. So there's one return that's gonna add some really nice flow to the tank. And there's the other return that's gonna add really nice flow to the tank. So I'll have not only one pushing out, but I'll have two pushing out for really nice flow in this tank. And it's good enough that, that um, that's rated for 120 gallons. And so and something for per hour, but that's going to be okay, that thing. But um, anyways, so I got those cut out. All I'm waiting on is this canopy build, which me and my dad are going to do. That's going to be the next series of videos we're going to do. So let me come around here. And, um... So the canopy's gonna basically like cover all this, you know how that goes and everything. It's gonna look nice, same color as this. Anyways, let's go downstairs, aka the sump. Um, I picked up from that fish place eight foot of airline tubing and uh, two of these little returns for only like thirty cents. So let me show you how I'm gonna do this. Just Put that there, like that, and then that's how my uh, acclimation is gonna look like. Just you know, simple little thing. So let me take this off real quick. I'll do that later. But uh, I got that for the acclimation process, and um, I know it doesn't look any different, but this is a um. Apex submersible 307, I'm pretty sure, which is ready for a seven foot top. So, this is definitely gonna get the job done for this aquarium. Um, so, and then you saw the uh, 
the uh, overflow box thing. So that's all set up. This thing, this little just turn all valve. So as you guys know, the water is going to come in through there, go in there, which I'm going to have the uh, Kim Pure Elite hidden back there. We're going to have that. It's going to go through the foam into the protein skimmer right there. I found um, at Home Depot they had a little clamp on light. I don't know if it'll. I think I think random. I think um. Okay. Uh, in the description below, leave um some like light bulbs that you have in your sump that um, create algae pretty good and everything because um I'm gonna need that for the sump to grow all that beneficial bacteria on my refugium right there. Anyways, and then I got the bubble trap which is about an inch and then it goes into there and then back through that return up to there back through that one up to there anyways enough with that um i'm gonna put a uh, strip light right about there for and it's gonna shine all this stuff right there um it shouldn't make too much algae I'm either going to do a strip light or I'm going to do this. There, we found these little two uh, LED things we're going to put right there, I guess. And then the clamp light right there. But, um, anyways, we got the thermometer right there. I took out the heater of this um, because it is summertime. And the house stays at about 78 degrees. So it should be good. Um definitely good I might need to put a fan or something in here keep at least keep this room pretty cool cool with the fan that's why this is on but I don't have any water in there yet um anyways I got all my supplies there sump there and then some extra parts I got I got uh I got two extra clean I got uh felt pads which we were supposed to put on there felt bars and then I got Bunch of, bunch of these clamps for stuff. Cause uh, as you guys know, I really um. Well, I'll talk about it in the next video. I'll just do a um. So every like five videos, I'll do an overall thing of plans and stuff. So. So anyways, so this is gonna be updated on Fox. The next video is going to be um plans and everything for it. That'll be a long video, so, uh, anyways, I also have some vinegar, which I'm gonna coat the protein skimmer in, because I can get it all, it's gonna get all crud on it, like the filters do, because all the splashing, but shouldn't get too much, because it's pretty, it's pretty low to the, uh, bubble thing, it's only, like, about an eighth of an inch off, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I'm still gonna do it. Because I don't feel like having crap on it and brushing it into the tank, making the salinity spike and everything. So, I'm going to do that. Also, I might coat that a little bit. Coat that a little bit. But, I don't know. Really. Um. Anyways, up on the tank. Let's go back up here. Um. This, this whole order I got. Not order. This whole, uh, trip. Cost me about a hundred bucks for all this live rock. But, uh, dry rock. But, this is what really made it the price because it was 16 bucks. But, um, anyways, that circulation pump back there is going to circulate this whole tank. It's going to push all that air back, water back there and kind of wrap it around. And then this will. So, my tank should be pretty clean for the most part. Um, my light. Sorry, I'm just messing with it. Uh, let me scoot back here. Uh, past this. Um, so that's the canopy is going to be made. It's going to have a little door right here so I can access this because I'm, um, I'm not getting anything. I'll talk about that in the next video because it's getting up to a couple minutes. But uh, I'm really excited about this whole thing. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them for the next video. Or a video after that, because right after this, I'm going to make a video. But, um, anyways, if you want, leave any comments or uh, suggestions or questions, whatever you want, in the description below. Also, go um, check out, in the comment section below, go check out um, that fish place, that pet place.com. Really, really great.
Um, I just want to, I, I don't mean to stress it, but it's really, really nice. Go check that out. And, uh, anyways, see you guys later. That fish guy signing off.